morning. Welcome back to my channel. So obviously from the title of this video, it's the entire selling our old house, buying our new house process, but I'm currently in our new house because I was filming so like sporadically and just like picking up my camera and updating you guys. I never really like sat down and did an intro. So I thought I would just clarify some things, say hello. By the way, my name is Marissa. If you are new here, welcome. The very first clip where I come in and I'm just stressed out, I had just gotten home from Denver and then there's like a little break and then randomly I'm like, we got the house. That basically four days went by and Mitch and I talked and we essentially decided to move forward with the house. Just in case you kind of like get confused there, that's what happens. I get home from Denver, I then, we decided not to get the house. I then leave for Houston. Like the day before I leave for Houston, I think we decided to get the house. And then when I get back from Houston is when we have to sell the house. I don't know, it's a whole mess. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. Eee, I'm so excited for you guys to see this. Like this was so fun. I mean, it wasn't fun while it was happening, but like now that we're in the new house, it was a lot of fun just like going through the whole process and like taking a chance and like putting an offer in on this house. Not me literally being depresso mode. Chick, come here. Clearly, I'm back in Michigan. Um, yesterday's travel day was extremely chaotic just because I'm overwhelmed with people in the airport. Chicken, chick. This puppy is taking over my life. Do you wanna say hello? Do you wanna say hi, chicky? Ow, ow, babe. <laughs> I love you so much. You're crazy. Okay. Anyways, so Mitch picked me up from the airport. The drive was crazy. Long story short, a house that I am very, 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 very in love with went on the market. We got outbidded by these people. My heart was broken. Three days later, we get an email or a text from our real estate agent and she's like, hey, it's back on the market. So the entire car ride home, Mitch and I are just talking about this house. Like, like, do we wanna buy this house? Do we wanna buy this house? Are we ready to essentially have two mortgages until we are able to sell this current house? And, Today we decided that we're just not gonna do it because we just need to focus on getting this house ready to sell before we jump into something else. So that's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> that's why I went MIA was just because I am very much someone who gets stressed and overwhelmed and like I just shut down and I did not want to talk because I'm just so upset about not getting this house. But I guess it's fine, like more homes will come and... But yeah, that's the update. I'm home. But yeah, I know this was just like the most random little vloggy vlog. Maybe I'll take you guys through the day with me. No, no, I'm too tired. I'm gonna be honest, I'm too tired. But I'm gonna give Chick a little treat. Small house update. I don't want to jinx anything. I like wanna share with you guys, but again, I don't wanna jinx anything by talking about it and like getting my hopes up because I'm gonna be really sad if I'm let down. But essentially, Mitch and I have been grinding the last like two days to get to a point where we can get organized and like have people help fix up our house, tie up some loose ends with some projects that we've been working on, get our landscaping right so we can potentially, fingers crossed, list our house. And we officially just sent our realtor a text saying we would like to put in an offer on another house. So stressful. But yeah, we're just basically like crunch time trying to get our house ready to sell, hopefully these people accept our offer on the house. And then plot twist, I leave for Houston on Wednesday. So Mitch is essentially gonna have to just be going ham on the house while I'm gone for four days. And then I'm gonna come right back and continue the process with him. Regardless if we get the house or don't, we need to get our house in shape to sell because we are looking for a new home. And so this doesn't happen again where we're just like, we see a house we love and we're trying to scramble to get everything together. Our house will at least be like show ready and like ready to be put on the market like ASAP. So that's the update so far. Mitch is looking at me. I like, did she text back? <gasps> no, she didn't text back. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I gasped. Did she text back? <gasps> no, she didn't. What? It was, was an Instagram. Like, what, that was like a mispackaging. I glitched. I literally glitched. I'm a lizard person, so that's why um, I reacted the way I did. But yeah. Okay, anyways, I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know what she says. I'm about to take chicken to dog training class. Mitch is going to continue to box up 
or like box up clothes, all the shit in our house. Before you guys buy a house, make sure you just get rid of all the unnecessary shit because right now I'm packing things up and I'm sitting here like, we have so much shit. I'm only 26, how do I have this much shit in my house? It's honestly insane. Okay, I'll keep you posted. It's the next day, Mitch and I, like I said, putting that off for the house. Say hi, Chicky. We haven't heard back yet. So I'm just kind of getting into the packing process. I'm gonna put together some boxes. I'm trying to clear out a few rooms in the back just so we... Thank you so much. Thank you. Like has to be on me at all times. Anyways, I'm trying to clear out some rooms in the back and we obviously need to pack them. Regardless if we get this house or not, we... Chick, oh my God, she's like sniffing my pit. Let me just scooch on cannot with her anyways regardless if we get this house or not we are trying to get this house ready to sell our current house so with less stuff in it we can just clean easier and we can take really nice photos to list this freaking house also it's freaking snowing right now look chicken sit you're not a good girl. You snuck out. Okay. I'm in the car with a few boxes. I think I only have like four. Could have definitely packed more, but I also have to run some errands. So I just didn't want to do anything too crazy. We're going to drop the boxes off at my mom's house. Um, bless her heart. She's letting us store all our stuff there while also trying to prepare we're having the whole family here for thanksgiving this year at her house so bless her heart for like letting me just destroy her house with our stuff while she's trying to prepare for thanksgiving anyways it's snowing out i don't know if you guys can tell no you guys can't tell it's like snowing kind of hard it's disgusting i hate it so much anyways still waiting to hear back from our real estate agent on if they accepted the offer or not. I'm like trying not to be sad about it, but I'm just so anxious. I, I want to move so bad. Even if it's not this house, I just, I need to get out of this house. Okay, love you guys, bye. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, you guys. I do not remember where I last left you with an update. I just got back from Houston last night at like midnight. My mom and Mitch have been going ham on the house to essentially get it ready by tomorrow to be listed on the market. So essentially what happened was then like the day before I left for Houston, we put in an offer on the house contingent of our house selling. They accepted it and they were like, okay, put your house on the market immediately. And we were like, okay, we will do that. So the house is looking absolutely amazing. Obviously there is still so much to be done, but it looks so good. Um, Mitch got a stump grinder out here to like finish some projects that like our landscaper guy started but like didn't finish because it was raining and snowing for like two weeks straight. But we don't want to get the house dirty and like dirty up the kitchen. So my mom brought over mix, uh, McDonald's breakfast. She got me an egg and cheese on a bagel and then a hash brown of course. And then some fruit, also pancakes. I can't show you because of the syrup there pancakes so 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 freaking yummy i haven't had a mcdonald's breakfast in a hot minute uh so yeah any other updates we got now we're talking with my mouth full we got a storage unit and we're just like loading it up the first two months are free there was like a promo going so i guess we just have a storage unit for free right now but yeah i will bring you guys along i don't want to get too excited because if our house doesn't sell and we don't get this house, I will be really, really sad, but I'm gonna bring you along anyways, just, you know, in the chance that this house does sell and we do get the house, but yeah. We just packed up the car. The whole bed of the truck is also packed up and Mitch is gonna go show me the storage unit for the first time. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm just stressed that like a little critter is gonna get in there and just like, no way, everything. Like, I doubt that's gonna happen, but I feel like that's a legitimate fear. We have been at it 
all freaking day. You can hear my mom's dogs. I'm dropping off another load of clothes to my mom's house because I just don't know if I trust clothes that don't, for some reason the tops on these boxes have been cut off. I just don't know if I trust my clothes sitting in a, a storage unit with no top. So leaving these at my mom's house and then going back to my house to do another storage unit run. You guys, it's 7.45 p.m. I keep... Can I see your keys to get inside? <laughs> yeah. I just spilled your thing all over my Oh seat. shoot. It's chaotic to say the least. I have, I have two gigantic armoire things like not armoires, um, like large sofa chairs in my back trunk. I don't know if you can even see. I have a couple coolers, the cushions, everything. Mitch has like two chairs. Oh, I have a chair right here. Like we are locked and loaded and we just still have so much shit to do before tomorrow. And of course Mitch has jury duty tomorrow. So he can't even help me tomorrow. Ugh, thank you. Which just adds to the chaos of all of it. Ah, oh, poor Mitch, he just spilled my, my water like all over his seat because he put a chair in it and it like knocked it over. Anyways, we're headed to the storage unit. You guys, it's 10 p.m. We are at the storage unit for a third time today, I believe. We still have so much work to do on the house tomorrow before they come take staging photos. And we also have an inspection at the other house, so we just got a lot going on. You guys, I'm literally so sad right now and greasy i just got home from the gym it's like not even 8 30 but i'm like not i was literally crying in the car it was so embarrassing people were probably like is she good um <clears throat> but you know when you're like crying and driving you literally can't see and you're like this is kind of dangerous that was me i don't even know why i'm crying well i do but i'm just being dramatic so basically so essentially we got a text from our real estate agent saying that the house we put an offer in with a contingency, it was another person submitted an offer. This battery is also dying, so I'll be quick. So basically, we basically have to take the contingency off of our house, and even if our house doesn't sell, we need to either move forward with the other house or just forget it. And obviously, I'm very sad about that, but I think I'm just frustrated and I was just overwhelmed this morning when I got that text because like of course Mitch has jury duty till the 27th I like rushed home from Houston to like get the whole house prepared like life it's Black Friday so Gymshark and like move with us I just have to get a lot of content done like it's just been like extremely overwhelming and then of course like the dog and the cats on top of it and so I think it was just like the cherry on top that I got a text that said like take the contingency off of your offer or else like they're gonna sell the house to someone else so that's the update I'll let you know Mitch and I just have like so much to talk about tonight so I'll let you know what we decide but I'm just sad and overwhelmed just got to the bank um it's Monday morning I worked out it's crunch time baby like I have to I'm here at the bank because I need to get an earnest check to give our real excuse me to give our real estate agent and then i'm gonna go to home depot to pick up some flowers just to like just to spice up our front door a little bit and just like make it a little bit more presentable to be shown i'm tired you guys i'm so tired we were up to like 2 a.m last night we're back at home depot okay home depot didn't have shit like it was all christmas plants so i'm just gonna go home start cleaning the house and go to meyer later i think I look so tired. I'm not okay, you guys. Not me just always popping in and updating you guys randomly in my like office room. I meant to update you like way earlier, but tomorrow begins Black Friday for Gymshark. So I've just been working my little booty off like nonstop, but I have a house update. We're buying the house. It's gonna be a little bit chaotic because we will have two freaking mortgage payments until our current house sells. So praying to God, like we're leaving this house on the market. We're gonna obviously still have showings, all that. No one wants two mortgage payments. But I'm confident that in the next couple months, at the latest it will sell. Like we have, I'm not just biased, but we have like a great freaking property. Like I'm so confident, but I can't wait for you guys to see the house. Like I am so freaking excited, you guys. Guys, currently sitting outside my house with Chick, as you can see. Um, we just spent the entire morning deep cleaning our house because we have an open house today from 1 to 2.30. So 
the entire house had to be deep cleaned animals had to be out and now we're about to drive away probably go to Costco for the day just get all that situated but I don't know if I updated you because I'm like this is literally the world's longest vlog and I just don't know if I said anything but you know how last time we spoke I told you we decided to buy the house well we close officially on the 8th of December and we move in on the 20th of December so I'm so excited you guys like it's been so stressful but I'm just hoping we can get through Thanksgiving we can just get the ball rolling and because so much of our stuff is in storage right now hopefully the transition is like a little less chaotic where's, oh I'm like where's Chicky? Chick say hi ma she's so cute why am I always in this room? I think it's because I'm always like, okay, I'm gonna get ready to go and then I'm going to vlog. And of course this is like where I get ready. But I've been doing a terrible job of keeping you guys updated. Friday, December 8th, we close on the house. I'm so excited, like so excited. We have been having the most chaotic time here. Yesterday, Sunday, we had two showings and then we have another showing on Thursday. And like at this point we're just praying for a freaking offer on this house so we are now here with two mortgages but my mom just texted me that she said i'll because she's you know hoping that we sell the house she goes i'll pray to saint joseph the patron said of selling houses <laughs> she's so goofy um when i wanted to sell my house when i was growing up before i went to china to get you i'm adopted in case you didn't know that I buried a statue of St. Joseph head down at one of the corners of the house. I forgot which corner. I think there's a certain one you have to do with it. But when I got to China and was in Beijing, grandpa, her dad, my grandpa, called her at midnight. It was like noon at, um, it was like noon in China, midnight here in the US, and said to tell me they had an offer and that, and would I take it? I, as in my mom. Um, and my mom, sorry, there's a lot of traffic on the road and I'm like, what's going on? And so my mom was like, the rest of the trip was wonderful, blah, 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 cause she got me and then also sold her house. So um, my mom is actually gonna go with me to this little, like, I don't even know what it's called. It's called the Rosary Book and Gift Shop. So I can go buy a St. Joseph statue and bury it in our yard, head down. But this is just kind of like, I don't know my mom did it and she's like i should take you to get one and we're trying to sell our house so let's go get one it's the uh, infant of prague Okay, we just got home from the rosary shop. So this is what I ended up getting. St. Joseph the Worker. So essentially I got a little direction sheet and Mitch and I, before he goes to the gym, we're gonna go out to the front yard and bury this immediately because Thursday we have a showing. It says, um, the custom of burying a St. Joseph statue is said to have started with St. Teresa um, when the Carmelite nuns needed more land on which to build their churches. St. Teresa encouraged her fellow sisters to pray to St. Joseph and to bury St. Joseph medals in the ground as a symbol of their devotion. This tra tradition evolved over many years and is still practiced today in the form of burying St. Joseph statues. Suggested instructions. Um, today, the practice of burying St. Joseph statues is widely practiced by homeowners of all religious denominations to help increase the chance of selling their home. That's me. Um, there are many different methods for bearing the statue. The most important element of the custom is to pray to St. Joseph for his intercession. Bury the statue upside down, feet pointing toward heaven, in, front of, in the front yard of the property that is for sale. When the home sells, the statue should be removed from the ground and displayed in a place of honor in your new home. So Mitch and I are about to go out and bury this. Another thing that we got while I was there, my mom actually bought both of these for us, which was super sweet. I got... Sorry, the microwave... <laughs> I got a small crucifix to hang in our house. Um, I did want a slightly larger one. Like it was probably the size, like the width and the height of my head. It was like $56, which I don't know if I should put a price on it, but like, I was like, I'm not gonna spend $56 on my first crucifix. So I got this one instead. I think, I don't know where we're gonna put it in the new house, but yeah. So that was today's little shopping 
spree and I'll bring you with us when we bury St. Joseph. Okay, I just took St. Joseph out of the box. I think, I think Mitch is gonna be the one to bury him, but of course I will show you. I will show you how he does it. Okay, Mitch is out here. We've got a tripod set up to bury St. Joseph. Hold on, here he is. So basically what I read online is that you should bury him next to the for sale sign. So that's what we're doing. Not an ideal shovel setup. It's gonna have to work. Yeah, why you got a skinny shovel? That's all we have. Oh. We don't have an actual hand shovel. Gardening shovel. Well, I'll be sure to ask for that for Christmas. Alright, should we just lodge him down in there? Yeah. Ready? Yep. He's going in. Say goodbye. There he goes. <sighs> We can't forget to pull them out once we sell the house. Yay! <laughs> and we're done. Good morning. Hello. Mitch is here. We literally have had the busiest morning. It is like 9.05. We are closing on our house today. So we went to the gym, had to go to the gym. And we're on our way to the bank to get our cashier's check. And then we're going to do a quick walk through our house one final time. And then we're going to go to... Where are we going to close? Like the bank? A uh, title agency. Oh, a title agency, um, which I think we've been to. I think it's the same title agency we went to when we got our first house, so. Should I go down Dobie? Yeah, I think that'll be a good, a quick, fingers crossed that no one's, oh, there goes my lens cap. Um, anyways, so we, also my aunt is in town from New Orleans. So last night we got dinner with them, just dropped chicken off at my mom's house where Aunt Erin is because we have a showing today and Mitch will be at work so I need to be cleaning the house and can't have the animals in the house. Chaos to say the least. So we just said goodbye to my aunt, her son, and her ex-husband. But they're cordial. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's the update from us. <laughs> that was such hopefully, a funny little nugget. <laughs> hopefully they let me film the process when we're actually signing and everything. Ready? go sign away all our money. Yep. Let's give it all away. RIP. Oh, cute. Oh my god, that was literally so stressful. I hate going to the bank. I hate dealing with people who don't know what they're doing. Hopefully our person and my husband knows what they're doing. But we literally have a check for closing on this house. It's pretty terrifying and it doesn't feel like it should be allowed to have a check with this much money on it and then for us to be responsible for delivering it, it just feel like things should be wired. Like this should all be happening electronically. But what time our walkthrough is in 15 minutes so I think we're just gonna head there now. We're gonna go take measurements of the house so we can kind of figure out what couch will fit in the area because we're not moving until the 20th. So we just kind of want to prep and be ready with furniture instead of like having to buy it closer to the date when we actually move in. Mmm. <laughs> Cold taco salad. <laughs> so, we're officially homeowners. We officially homeowners, own yeah. two homes. <laughs> um, praying to God we sell this home as soon as possible. We just got home from closing. We have a showing at three o'clock, so I need to start cleaning the house. Chicken is at my mom's house. Mitch has a meeting. Kind of a chaotic Friday. We, okay, so excited because I was super stressed about an interior designer. We just found one. Our realtor, real estate agent, is it, what do we call her? Okay. Had a connection. She just hooked us up, and so I just texted her. So hopefully that's going to start some movement soon. Um, we're gonna go, but <laughs> Appy is so funny. And microwave scared shitless. I don't know why, but he's hiding in the bathroom. Good morning. Today is the day. We are officially moving into our house. Um, I know I said I was gonna share some clips last night when we visited, um, but we ended up talking to the previous owners 
for like two and a half hours. It was 11.30 by the time we left. I didn't even have time to whip out my phone or camera. So I'm just gonna show you little snippets of the house now before we move all our crap into it. And then in a different video, I'll just do a full blown house tour for you guys. Okay, we are officially in our new house. I'm gonna give you a rough tour because it's empty, so there's really not much to show you. But the sellers, the previous owners, we met them last night and they did like a little walkthrough just to kind of tell us about stuff we probably would not know if they hadn't told us. And they left us the cutest thing on the kitchen counter. So they left us this little ornament that says sold for the tree and then for the move, some tequila. I love that. Um, but with that being said, I guess we will start in the kitchen. Um, everything pretty straightforward. We needed a kitchen that was just turnkey, minus the fact that they had to take their stove. So we did order one from Home Depot that should be here soon, hopefully. Um, also, this backsplash was imported from Italy. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love her so much. Um, and then this is gonna be like a little sitting area. My favorite part probably about the house is this backyard. We love land and nature and we're going from two acres to a little bit less than one, but like this makes up for it. Um, and then we move into this kind of dining area. We don't know what we're gonna make this yet, but I absolutely love the details on this house. Like one really big thing for me is we needed to move into a house that was more turnkey, but we didn't want to move into like a new build. We didn't want, we wanted an older home that still had character, but was turnkey and had updated features. So when we found this house, like we jumped on it. Um, and this is just like kind of the best of both worlds. Like we had, it's a little bit older of a home, which we are fine with. Like I said, it has like that character that I just feel like new builds don't have. Um, but it's updated, which I feel like it's so hard to find. You either get one or the other. So now we are in, here, let me flip this. Now we are in the main living room. They did leave a few things like those photo frames, this mirror, um, but I just love this space so much. We're about to put up a Christmas tree over there. Um, there's Mitch, hi Mitch. Um, this is an office space going to the master bedroom. I think if we're gonna do anything to the house, it, the one thing we will do is paint this room. Right now it's like a beigey color. Um, and I think we're gonna, oop, and I think we're gonna make it like a gray. But our first project when we get settled, fix this hot tub. I am so freaking obsessed. We are so excited to have this this winter. So we're just gonna save and get this hot tub running. Really nice built-ins. I'll show you the bathroom. The bathroom's kind of interesting, but I'm excited regardless. Look, oh my goodness. Yeah, bring chicken. I'm so excited, you guys. Um, okay, next. What else should I show you? I mean, there's upstairs. I don't know. You guys wanna see the whole house? Mitch says I should show you the whole house, so I guess I'll just show you the whole house. Um. Next we have bathroom. Uh, it's so sad without all of, you know, the bathroom things, but super nice. The monochrome is very gorgeous. Ba there's the kitchen, that's how you get to the kitchen. A nice little mudroom pantry right here. So spacious. We love the space. My favorite part, oh, they also took the washer and dryer, RIP, but please look at all of this storage, like, I'm simply obsessed, you guys. Like, we, you guys know we did not have this type of space in our old house, so this is just going to be absolutely perfect for us. We have some leftover cleaning supplies. I don't even know, but look at, I can do all our laundry here, like, it's gonna be amazing. And then, do you want to go in the basement and show them the basement with me? Sure. Are you sure you're going down by yourself? No, I'll go down by myself. We need to get like a baby gate right here so the cats and dogs can't just run down here. Okay, so the basement is not finished, but look what they left. 
So we do go to the gym and here I am. Um, look at all of this equipment, like crazy. And then the rest of the basement, not much, not much else to it, but we're gonna make this a really, really cool space. Okay, back upstairs. I guess we'll go upstairs. Oh, they also left this gorgeous painting. Oh, she is so pretty. We were hoping that they weren't gonna take it because it just fits so beautifully in this space and they ended up leaving it, so we're very, very grateful for that. And then upstairs, you guys, if there's one thing I love about this house, it's all of the space, like absolutely incredible. And all the lights turn on when you open the door. Also love that. Now I'm out of breath. I am, we don't have stairs in our current house, well our old house, so walking up the stairs was a lot for me. Like, why am I dying, Mitch? Okay. Bedroom number one. You guys, this is just so freaking gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Little Jack and Jill bathroom. They left this bed set for us. Super nice. And then, ooh, these benches. Like I, please, this backyard, it is so freaking beautiful. I, I know this was like a really quick tour. I am going to, oh look at, hold on, let me show you this. Every single room has these emergency buttons and if you press it, a an obnoxious alarm goes off. So all of them are labeled and I'm hoping when our friends come over they don't go pressing buttons. But I'm gonna do a little sit down, um, probably prior to this video actually, never mind, and talk more details about the house because I know this was like a super quick, like, blah, 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 like this is our house. Um, I hope I'm even showing this. Sorry, um, but yeah, you guys, I'm I'm literally so freaking excited. Like, living in our house has been, like, we love our house on our two acres. Like, that was supposed to be our forever home. Should I let her off? Yeah. Chicken's here. Crazy girl's here. You can't even catch yourself. You can't even catch yourself, huh? Um, last thing I was gonna say was, you guys know that we absolutely loved our home on our two acres. So, and we're very, you know, we're still sad. That was supposed to be our forever home, I swear to God. Um, it just had too much going on. We just could not make it work with how busy our schedules are. And like our careers just like taking over our lives. Hi, Mitch. Um, so we moved here to a more turnkey house. So hopefully we can just thrive and spend more time on us, our businesses, our family, rather than just like worrying about our house 24 seven. Okay, we're gonna go start getting the Christmas tree up that Balsam Hill sent us and probably I'll finish this vlog showing you the tree, but I'm actually doing a different vlog where we're putting up the tree. So we've got a lot of vlogs going on right now. My mom and I just got to the house. We are going to wait for the inspector to be done at 1.30. We're a little bit early, but I think we're gonna go quickly walk the yard. I'll show you guys some of it it kind of looks icky because like all the gorgeous like leaves had just fallen everything's dying and there's no snow on the ground but in her prime she is perfection Oh yeah, Mitch meant to put that door up last night. We just didn't have time. Oh, I can move. I can move any of that if you need me to. Yeah. 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 Here, let me just scooch it into the other. Sorry, I'm just sending a video to Mitch. We're all working hard. Wish you were here. 
The photographers just left um, and the stager. Our house looks so cute right now. Um, but yeah, the poor dog is in the back barking. So I'm gonna go get her. I'm so glad that is over with. I'm literally sitting on the couch eating while Mitch makes me some salmon patties from Trader Joe's. Um, today was chaotic. So right after, oh, another thing I forgot to add. I had to move all the cars out of the driveway. Of course, our third car that we don't use is a stick shift. So I was just like, great. It's gonna be stressful in general. And then of course it was dead. So we're just gonna have to find a way to get that out. Um, but yeah, anyways. So right after Mitch got home from jury duty at like four, 4.30, we took a bunch of stuff from the garage, dropped it off at Metal Recycling. Hi, chicken. And then took chicken. Are you kidding me? Look at her. Hi, chick. And then took chicken to dog training class. And then just to add more to my plate, I'm going to watch the MSU basketball game with my mom at 8 p.m. So in like 25 minutes. Today has been a long ass freaking day, but we made it. I don't know, I just feel so good about getting the whole house staged. Oh, that's another thing. The house is like in stage mode right now. So we have a bunch of like fake decor that's not ours and it's like spotless. And so Mitch and I just have to try really hard to keep it that way. But regardless, it was a really long day, but I'm just so glad it's over with. And of course, Mitch has to go back to jury duty in the morning. Hopefully he can get off. Now I'm just sitting in the same spot filming my outro, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I really do hope to kind of give you a more in-depth tour once we have our furniture, but right now, like, it's a whole mess in this house. Um, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time.